So do you want a simple, aesthetic and professional LinkedIn profile picture and banner like mine? Or perhaps you want to have the skills and tools to make it look like Georgia and Aaron's? Then you probably want to watch this video, we'll show you everything. From taking a picture using a smartphone to editing it using only free software. So right now you probably have a profile picture that is a bit blurry, not that sharp, boring background and in the photo you might seem a bit uncomfortable or you look way younger than you actually are. The question here is why? Why show a crap picture that is visible 24 hours a day to your friends, family, your partner, people you met on Tinder, clients, recruiters, colleagues and employers. You also miss out on 14 times more profile views with a professional headshot. So it's finally time to leave the playground to work on personal branding and take advantage of the career and employment opportunities that LinkedIn offers. So let's get right into it. First, you need to choose the right outfit, which depends on the industry and the position that you are after. In tech, for example, you can just wear a plain t-shirt, whereas in finance, you might want to choose something more formal. Then you want to find a place with a lot of natural light, but avoid direct sunlight. What you can do, for example, is put your smartphone on a windowsill. I let a balance on the door handle. Now open the camera app, Tap this tiny little icon at the top, then you press the timer icon and set the timer on 3 seconds. You turn or flip the screen by pressing this icon. Now keep in mind that smartphones have a wide angle lens, which means that close-ups don't entirely resemble how you look. And that's why you need to keep some distance from your phone. Now take a couple photos using different poses, facial expressions and try both with and without glasses, at least if you have them. Now these are the pictures that I made using an iPhone 11. They are not edited or color graded yet. In this picture I closed one of my curtains, so I got like a, a shadow on the right side of my face. I think that contributes to the formal or somewhat serious look that I want. But generally speaking, for most positions you should avoid shadows. And a friendly smile showing a bit of your teeth is actually the way to go. Now once you've picked your favorite picture, you send it to your desktop and go to the free online background remover called Remove BG. And then you upload the image you are sure of you want to use because you get only one chance to download the HD version. I already downloaded an HD version, so I had to go back to Google and search for an alternative. And as you can see, you can also use Adobe. Upload your photo and it removes the background automatically. To download it, you just have to log into your account. So create a free account if you haven't done so yet. After that, we go to canva.com where you need to create another free account. Now, once you are up and running, you click on create a design. Search for LinkedIn profile and you can pick this 800 by 800 pixels design. What I would like to do is pick a custom size of 1600 by 1600. Okay, now go over here to uploads. Click on upload files and once you've uploaded the PNG, it will appear right over here. Now you click it, zoom in a bit if you would like, expand the picture like this. Not too much because then we'll lose its sharpness and drag it to the middle. Now there are many ways to style your picture. Let me show you. Go to elements and search for gradient square. Pick one out, align it properly, then right mouse click and press send backward. Over here you can change the colors. Now don't pick flashy colors unless you are active in the creative sphere. If you are, for example, a graphic designer, painter, musician, or when you want to include the company's brand colors. All right, so let's remove the background. Search for city, and down here you have many options. Now, if you can't find a suitable and free background, just go to Pexels or Pixabay, where you can download free images. Upload them in Canva and then just move and expand them around like I'm doing right now. And click on Send Backward. Okay, then we go to edit image, adjust, and you can play around with these settings. I really like to add some blur and or transparency because that will make my profile stand out from the background. Now, when you click on your profile, then I would suggest you to play around with the brightness, contrast, and saturation and see what looks best for you. Now, once you're done, give your design a name and download it as a PNG file. Now, we also need a banner. Go back to the home screen create a design, enter LinkedIn banner, and pick this one, the 1584 times 396 pixels. Again, many options, but I like consistency. So I pick the same picture, expand it, and choose which part you would like to be featured. At the same level of transparency, so it matches your profile picture, and if you want to, you can also insert some shapes. So you can include a nice slogan, motto, or whatever. Anyway, I like to keep it simple. 
Now go to your LinkedIn profile page and click over here. Let's drag the zoom button to 1.7 and align the picture accordingly. Make sure your eyes touch this line and your upper body is partly visible. Okay, and then we add the banner. Now let's see what that looks like. Hmm, I would like to zoom in a bit more. And I think that a blurry background would make my profile stand out a bit more. So let me do that and I'll be back. So what do you think? I think it looks better like this, but should I use with or without blur? Let me know in the comment sections down below. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If so, then a like is greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you want more step-by-step -step tutorials from me. Thanks again for watching and see you in my next video.